<sighs> wow. Boy. Sunday night. Here I am. In the garage again. My wife's in the house. We're sitting there. She's watching 90 Day Fiance and I, one of her favorite shows. And I, I'm scrolling on my phone looking at stuff and just looking at stuff about this 302 and I'm coming across these people are claiming that if you got a 302, a standard bore, and a 202 uh, intake valve, uh, you're going to have some extremely tight clearances, and you just, they basically recommend you just don't do it. So I'm like, whoa, wait, hold on now. Wait a minute. Uh, I had a Maverick that had a 302 in it with Eldebrock heads, and it was 202 valves, and big old camshaft in it. It did have Keith Black pistons and, and uh, it, but it, that car ran. Some people tonight remember that car that, that know me from 15 years ago. I, that was a long time ago. Uh, I built that engine and it just, it was great. It ran great. Uh, big old gear in it, 462 gear, loose converter, you know, you know the deal. It was a, it was a lot of fun. So I never thought about piston to cylinder wall clearance at all. But then if I, I kept reading, if it, it said if your people were saying, all right, well, if you're 30 over, if your block is 30 over, you're good. Well, this block is not 30 over. It's not. And uh, it's got this nice shiny aluminum head. 202 intake 160 exhaust on a standard bore block. Oh boy, what does that mean? So now what? I gotta put my E7s back on here? They'd have to have a valve job, but I don't wanna hear that. I just bought these things, you know? So I'm thinking, how am I gonna do this? I, this is not good at all. So I started worrying. Of course, it's my nature to worry all about this kind of stuff. And uh, I thought of a way now, I haven't seen anybody do this. Uh-huh. If you notice, there's nothing in this motor, right? I should be able to look right down into that bore. Well, and see what is going on here. Let me see if I can get, get a good angle here for everybody to see this. That's not going to hit anything. What are these people talking about? Does that look like it's going to hit anything to you? No. No, it's not. That valve doesn't grow when it comes out of there. You're looking at the widest part of the intake valve. From that edge across to the other edge, it doesn't get any bigger than that. And that cylinder wall is quite a bit over to the side. Nah, it's not gonna hit. It's not gonna hit. No, sir. Exhaust valve either. It's not gonna hit. How could it? It's not gonna hit. Unless your valve guides are <laughs> just <laughs> they'd have to be really walled out these are brand new heads it's not gonna hit all right so there you have that and i mean i haven't seen anybody demonstrate this i haven't seen any videos where you can see this and uh because some people are very worried about it, you know I'm gonna get you on there all crooked. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> some people are worried about it. And, uh, you know, this is a good, I mean, you can see. At least I can see. I don't know how this is gonna come out on the film or on the, whatever you call it nowadays, on this uh, video, but I can see that intake valve. It's not gonna hit that cylinder wall. No worries. Uh, piston to valve. Uh, I think on these factory pistons I'm using, they, uh, 
They've got valve reliefs. They got valve reliefs. But, you know, they're not real deep. I'm going to clay check it. This is a factory piston that came in that 302. And they're good. They've had the big end resized. And there's nothing. They're forged. They're actually TRWs. I can feel they're a little, a little heavy. You know, but that's, I mean, it's a cruiser. That's all it is. I'm good. I'm going to clay check it. I'm going to run that E303 cam. That's a 498 left, 282 duration. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, that Maverick, I clay checked it, and uh, it, had a, it had a lot of room. Uh, it didn't even come close, uh, but it was a 30 over engine. And, you know, and then the, the Keith Black Pistons, they had valve reliefs too, and it was like a 550, 557. I think it was a Lenati cam in it. It was a big old cam, you know, for street car, and it, it, it ran good. I didn't have any problems with anything. That car was just fun. All right, well, so I hope this solves any uh, worries, anybody worrying about a stock 302 block and 202 valves, and you're not going to hit the cylinder walls. I mean, you just saw that. So uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll keep this stuff coming to you. Maybe not Sunday nights all the time, but I'll... I'll keep coming to you with it. I worry, I worry about all this stuff, you know? Stuff costs a lot of money. So I worry about it. And I want it to turn out, you know, right. I've never had an engine fail yet. And I've been 40 years with this stuff. Y'all have a good night. See you next time.